Hello everybody and welcome back to the Orange Pleasant View Farms. How are we doing today? Levi Farms, see you there in the chat. How are you? Magnum, how are you? Uh, hopefully everybody, the poll comes up. I kind of put up a little poll. See what uh, everybody's favorite D-series tractor is. And yeah, there's there's the D-10 and the D, the, I don't remember what I put all, like D-15 maybe I didn't add. But uh, I just put up a couple I knew right off the top of my head, so I just put on there. Go ahead and uh, pick which one you want, and at the end we'll see how things are. Uh, we still got some people coming in there. Rank, how are you? Waylon, how are we doing? So we uh, are down here in the shop just hanging out. I uh, got the 7080 uh, loader tractor here. We just kind of got him in the shop uh, tucked away, and we got all our other orange beauties uh, over here so hopefully everybody's enjoying this 7060 or the 7000 series I should say um, hopefully a lot of you have seen all the upgrades that have come with that one and of course like a big dummy I forgot to fix the back window got busted out uh, need to fix that but uh, has been a lot of upgrades to it so we can hop in here once. Uh, hopefully you've all seen the cab now. Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can take a good eye on it. Uh, we now got working blinker lights. We've got uh, working work lights. Throttles work. Gear shifters. Pedals. Not sure if we've all seen this yet or not. But uh, see some more people here. Logan, Justin, glad to have you. Jake. So uh, also when you turn the lights on, the backlights come on for the gauges. So there will be an update coming out. Uh, also some more uh, gauges and stuff for the interior up top. So I didn't add the simple IC. I'm guessing most of you guys have watched... Uh, James Brandt, he's the guy who did all this to it. Uh, he did a video on old school farming and everything he did with simple IC. You can open the doors, take the panel off. I, of course, like a dummy, forgot to add simple IC so we could do that all. But uh, just a run through. The door will open. The panels will come off the hood of the tractor. There will be a planter monitor, maybe a Kinsey monitor and a baler monitor. So... Yeah, Magnum, it's gotten a big update, all this stuff to it. New seat. I haven't decided yet. I've been holding off. Like, well, I need to get the windows put in. I'm guessing it just needs a new diffuse. Uh, it wasn't labeled right. And I also need to fix the clipping issue. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the black interior is clipping through right here. I didn't catch that, but I need to fix that. Which I thought I had fixed it on this tractor. I must not have saved it. Or I have two versions in here. One or the other. So there's just a few things I need to. Finish up on it. And then. I've been trying to tidy it up. Maybe trying. Not guaranteeing. But maybe it may come to console. I, I That's very loosely saying. I, I've been trying to tidy up its file. I got to get a hold of someone who can substance paint it to for custom dirt for giants that would be the only way it could come so maybe fingers crossed it might but at this point it's still maybe a long road till we get there but a possibility is there maybe yeah this is a different year it should this is more maybe a newer year it should look more like with the buttons in the center of like this one but I mean, it's uh, a fully working dash there, Magnum. So, But a different tractor, I guess, I was going to show you. Maybe you guys have seen it. I know some of you maybe have seen it. Uh, is this tractor, which it's very work in progress. But it is going to be the where James is trying to mess with it. And I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Trying to get it... Uh, Right now, I need to mess with the tires. I haven't opened it. He kind of just sent it to me. 
Uh, yeah, it's very... Needs some work, but this is something we're going to be trying to be making. Alright, see you, Levi. Um, you know, obviously the decal needs adjusted. We know all that. We're just... We're just starting the path of trying to make this tractor. Obviously, the fuel tank needs to come to the back. Um, a few things we know. We're just kind of starting with it. Uh, the interior is probably not right. Wow, he did put a lot. He put a good interior in it already. I didn't realize that. But, uh, like I said, very, very early stages. But we're trying to get this tractor not obviously the right throttle for it. We got some crazy fingers going on, which is all acceptable. This is all just new stuff. Yeah, Magnum, we're just trying to make the 6000 series. We're trying to get it. Mr. Simulation, hey, hey, how are you? So, yeah, this is very early stage. Needs the different weights put on it. But we're trying to, trying to get it there, so... Kind of wanted, wanted to show you, Mer uh, Magnum. Yeah. Uh, James worked on it today. He kind of got it this far. He sent it to me. I'm going to work on tires, center of gravity. I might even try to uh, figure out a fuel tank for back here and get this looking a little bit better on the back end. Maybe get rid of it there. Add the new weights on it. Uh, that's the kind of things I want to do. Maybe adjust... Uh, Muffler, the air cleaner. And yeah, we're just gonna try. Yeah, Waylon, if we get to we get it going and then we get it looking to a point that it looks good, we're definitely gonna really at least at least I know James is good with that and I, I'm good with that too, but you know, like I say, obviously we need to work on some decals and stuff like that. Uh but it it's it it'll be coming along. But if anybody has any um like reference pictures we're trying to figure out or you know like how tall this hood to the hood should be maybe even to the cab we're trying to figure out what it looks like compared to maybe other tractors or just measurements in its own so trying to do that uh, is really getting tough uh jake too i don't know how you're trying to place them but if you already have a existing decal where's my gleaner you can always just replace the actual decal with a new decal and it should take its exact place. You know, like where these decals are, if you would go in and uh, just replace them in GE directly, you should be able to get them just to fit right in. Maybe an option. So, yeah, so I just wanted to show kind of today that tractor, we're probably not going to play with it as... James sent to me, and I didn't really get time to mess with it yet, so. Uh, looks like I need to adjust the back tires and the front tires. Not sure what tires this would have. I'm going to guess 34s on the back. Not sure on the front, so. About very early stages. So we're going to get rid of it, because it's not something we're going to want to play with. But I do got the neighbor guy back there uh, applying some liquid manure for us. On our hayfield, he got the short end of the stick and his haul of manure. So we'll drive back here and quick and see how he's doing. He's got the D21. I'm not really sure. It doesn't show up on my phone, but I guess I could try here again once. Oop. I was trying to see how the pole's coming as far as uh, who was winning what yeah it will not show up on my phone uh, hey there Scott glad you said hi uh, glad to see you pop in yeah I know everybody's kind of got things going on especially on a Saturday night we're actually getting a little bit of rain, so I thought, well, I'll play for a while. Do not know why this tractor says Blizzard 2745. That's weird. Need to fix that. 
I have been thinking about, or I did try to start working on this tractor a little bit, getting it looking a little nicer. It's something, uh, I think I could make it look pretty good. I'd like to get the different motor put in it as well. A little more detail to it. I'm surprised. I figured the D21 would all usually his hands down always the winner. But I did see. I don't remember who somebody said what's the D series. So maybe not everybody knows what the D series is. This is the D21, the biggest one. But I guess a lot of people do Magnum. I guess they do like the D17. I know you like the D17. Just trying to cover our hay field here with a little bit of. Manure from our hog building is getting kind of full. Wow, well, I was holding a hundred thousand. Which this tractor needs needs some weights, or needs more weight maybe. Uh, I do have a two twenty, or no, maybe I have a two ten. Or is it? I th think it's in this one. Yeah, it's a two ten. I don't have a 220, but I guess I could make this into a 220. They're pretty much the same tractor. So, yeah, Baroque Farms, I, I have this one. It could use some work, for sure. I think all these fuel tanks, are they supposed to be painted like this? But I love to make the uh, platforms all diamond plate and stuff like that. My boat is here. Yeah. yeah, I kind of love my. Yeah. The old Kavod is all drenched in manure. Oh, Logan, how are you? Yeah, the old Kavod is seat. Poor Kavod. I kind of like the little sidekick. It's nice to be able to cruise around on something. I did end up buying some cattle we put over at the uh, other farm. So uh, I did put some hay in down there so we don't really probably need to go down there. Hopefully this doesn't ruin our wheat. I've been thinking, trying to skip ahead what we'll do. Logan, uh, I know you already asked James about it, but it's very early. Very, very early stages, but yeah, we'll try to get it there. It's what we're hoping. We might as well just go ahead and apply it a little heavy over here. Maria, how are you? The D10 was the equivalent of a B. Uh, I seen one. We went to a tractor engine show. And I seen a D10, and I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, it's not very big tractor. And Justin, uh, yeah, I have been. Uh, I don't think I put it in here. So, oh yeah, it won't be in there. Where it'll be in here. But I did make another placeable. If you watch my um movie. How does my audio sound? Does it sound any better? I did end up kind of messing with it a little bit more again. Uh, I didn't add that barn. But is it still popping and cracking? If I send you my... Uh, Logan, you realize I have an open cab 7080, right? I tried turning the new Han 900 headers to the leaner colors, but the silver isn't where... I was hoping, but it's hard to make the parts show up in G to make it easier to show the main frame. Are you saying, is the 9, I'm not sure, is the 900 head with like, uh, the TR series headers are using? Jake, uh, and I don't remember, I'd have to look, and maybe you could look too, the cleaner I believe I have it I believe I have it set at 888, I believe, for silver. Or 0 .8, 0 .8, 0 .8, I believe. 
So it may be something where you could look at that, maybe. Yeah, I do know ever some people have said like this head is too new and too expensive for the combine. Uh, it was just a nice header that worked. I haven't really asked Tired Iron about using his headers to put on the gleaner. I did see uh, Kelly Roberts is getting ready to release the L&M series. No. Am I saying that right? Maybe the L series. But he did. I th think it's 419. But I know he's kind of been in talks that with me about it, but it may be coming to 22 once he gets it done. I feel like he's been tweaking it, so we'll keep our fingers crossed on that and see how that goes. We'll go ahead and just fill our tank back up, even if we don't haul it. But yeah, like this tractor here needs side consoles and everything else for it, so... Give me just one second. I gotta check on something in real life here. Okay. Sorry about that. I had something I had to look at there. Alright, we're gonna just back us up. Yeah, it's roughly the same style for the rigid ones. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of the older headers were pretty much the same. So I haven't, that's what I'm guess. I'm saying, maybe the combine that Kelly Roberts is going to release, maybe it'll have heads with it, Jake, so maybe it'll be something when that combine gets sent to me, maybe I have some headers for the R series, or the N series, I mean. Okay, we're just going to leave out there. Did I? Did you guys lose me? Can you guys see me? Okay, I don't know why my screen went black for. If it'll include the D variant as well. I believe it is a... Hold on one second, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's including the Deutz Alice version, Jake, but I'm not 100% sure. My guess would be yes, he is going to include it. My campaign being loose. Thought maybe he found the chickens. Thankfully he didn't eat any though. Yeah, I'd be... Don't want to lose your chickens. So I think what we're going to do here now is... I kind of like using this tractor. I tell you what, we'll use the Alice. As long as it has tires that can go in the corn, which it should. There really ain't much difference other than the decals. Don't think they had the air-cooled Deutz engines like the R's did. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Maybe we better not park this here. D21. This is the D21. Okay, I think what we're going to do is look at our corn crop and need be we're going to oh, I missed. I wasn't thinking. Fertilize. Let's see. Yeah, we could put some... F so we might get the side dresser. Uh, I think I have it set here. We'll grab a... Ooh, if I have it. If I have the blue jet. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and rent this. 
Oh yeah, we gotta get the lights. Yep, nope, narrow tires. Looks good, let's lease that. We're also gonna need some 28 for it. So now we'll grab the Alice. Hopefully it'll go down the rows. See if we can pull out of here. We'll go ahead and hook up to this. We're going to get this hooked up to the applicator. Actually, this is probably going to be about a good setup for it. Simulation Station, how are you? Glad to see you. So, have you guys, most of you guys watched the uh, video I put out. What did you, uh, what's everybody's input? Like it? Don't like it? I don't want to necessarily do the time lapse all the time. I want to get into, you know, talking about what's going on and doing stuff more like that. But to be honest with you, I went to record it. And I was actually, yeah, we'll grab. I was kind of, I don't want to say nervous. I was kind of didn't know what to say. I'm used to streaming and looking to see what everybody's saying and go from there. But yeah, Magnum, that's pretty funny. We're gonna grab the Alice. Okay, uh, they're all Alice charmers. What's funny is we were chopping, I don't know, I put it in a lot of discords, but not maybe all of them. Uh, we were chopping silage this week in real life, and uh, the Ford tractor, the New Holland tractor I was driving, actually had lights that were pinned straight up uh, like these. And I thought, oh, that's neat how I had mine on this tractor like this. But there's actually pinned all the way up against the cab. Definitely keep them coming. Good. Well, okay, simulation station. I definitely, I plan to. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to feel things out. Hopefully, this will go across. Uh, yeah, well. Okay, back to combining notes. How to refuel with the slowest gas pump ever. Yeah, that just gets to be annoying. Are we going to be able to know where we're at here with the. Oh, we didn't get very much of this. Need to turn our flashers off here. Might as well just drive around out on our corn here. Trying to figure off where we left. I guess maybe right in here somewhere we'll start putting a 28 on. Am I doing this right? Are we using product? Oh, I might already have enough, huh? Are we doing anything? Looks like we already went over this. We'll just drive to the end and go back the other way. I've attempted to make live action. You played the Hunter Call of the Wild. No, I haven't, Levi. Uh, I haven't really played any other games much besides these. Uh, okay, wait. I've attempted to make live action videos and sucked at it, so I understand how hard it is. And feeling of being nervous. Yeah, I just didn't know what to say. I was like sitting here in the room like, am I really just talking to myself? But I guess right now... Technically, I'm talking to myself, even though you guys are all talking to me and listening to what I say, but but I'll get the hang of it. The sad part is I'm running a gas coma, so I'll be back in there in about... Logan, is this real life, or is this in-game? I'm not sure if we have any in-game gas combines, but I know there's some older mods out there.
So actually, I think this map might be set a little wrong for 30 intros, but could be wrong. But technically, we'd want to be turning around. Are we going to be making... Okay, there we can see... All we need is a little GPS that I don't have. There we go. We're in the cornrows. Well, I wish I could get out in the field in real life. Is it wet where you are at, Magnum? Uh, around here, we were... Well, like I said, we're getting rain now, but it's been dry all week. We've been pretty much... Everybody's been filling silo and stuff. I don't know if I could hire a worker for this job. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty, what I want to say, excited. Yeah, we're getting pretty excited for harvest coming. I've been working on my combine, which I just have a little 4420 John Deere combine. So I've been kind of tinkering with it, getting it all set up. But it won't be long, and we'll all be, I guess I probably can do this. This will, no, that won't show you. It must be only with precision farming. I did end up playing with uh, yep, real life running a gleaner F2. Oh yeah, ran an F2 with a s uh, inline six Chevy engine with a pickup style header. So she's just screaming. It's all kinds of screaming. Oh, this might get a lot easier once we get into this. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. And I know it's overlapping, that's just because it's supposed to have wings. I guess I should have just put the wings on it. We only do uh, goats and chickens. Ah, oh, the old goats and chickens. My mom and dad have some goats and some chickens. I thought this was going to be pretty hard to see where we're at, but it didn't get too bad there. Yeah, we probably got, I don't know, we probably got five or six weeks till fall harvest. Uh, our beans are still pretty green. Uh, maybe just starting to turn a few leaves on them, so. Corn's probably going to get there quicker, seems like. We have an F2 with a swap Detroit diesel in it, but hasn't ran in a couple years. My uncle used to actually have a, well, he still does, I believe. He has a Cockshut 50, and it actually has a Gleaner, I think it has a Gleaner K motor in it. And I know growing up, we used to bail with that tractor. That was always a, a really good running tractor with that motor in it, which I was just a gas. I don't know what motor that would have been, but it was just a gas motor. So, Dairy Deer, I don't know if you're in here yet or not, but I've seen you're starting to work on some manual adjust stuff with the choppers. How's that coming? It looks real nice. Pretty excited to see that kind of stuff. See if I can keep my wheels down the road a little bit better. I can't keep my tractor wheels, but... Or maybe I should just go in cab here. Maybe this would be easier. Let's zoom in just a little bit. The 55 seems like a lot. There, that may be better. You guys like driving in cab? I'm not much of an in. Goats are fun. Where do you farm Pleasant? Uh, I'm from the Ohio area. I'm uh, pretty close to Indiana, about as close as you can get to Indiana without being in Indiana but and about central west central uh, Ohio my chat's kind of running all over the place but so yeah we're we're setting pretty good uh, this rain will help with some things and 
Actually, it's a pretty nice setup here. Could use some front weights on it, but yeah, it'd be fine. Doesn't seem like we're really using all that much fertilizer. I would have assumed we would have used more. I'm on the other side of Indiana. Oh, you're on the west side of Indiana. Are you like in the Terre Haute area? That's the only <laughs> spot I really know. Only because it's right along 70. But I'm, uh, Nice. Have you always farmed? Uh, No. Actually, my wife and I were first... Well, my wife's... I guess not. She, Her family farmed. Uh, my parents just had a hobby farm. We pretty much had 4-H projects and stuff growing up, but never really... Uh, my dad never really farmed any ground or anything like that. And then uh, my wife's dad, he sold out of farming. And then my wife and I, we actually had the opportunity to buy the farm that we live on now. So we bought it and uh, we raised calves, bottle calves. And uh, we just grain farm a little bit. So, so yeah, we were pretty much just first generation farmers just trying to get started, which is hard. It's very, very, very difficult uh, to get going, so. What's your thoughts on changing your map? What do you, what do you mean, uh, Mr. Simulation? You wanna, you're saying multiplayer go to a different map? We also run a 914 international pool type combine that we put. We got all kinds of combines. Oh, I guess, yeah, Logan. I'm going to give up on doing the R series. I mean, I can add the R6. Um, but can't get the stripe decals lined up right. It wouldn't look right with them. Uh, Jake, I mean, if you want help with it, if you want would want me to look at it, I'd be more than happy to to look at it, maybe give a hand. If not, completely understand. I'm not sure if you're in Discord or not, but you can always send it to me that way. If you did. Um, I don't, you know, whatever whatever you want, Mr. Simulation. If you want to change it, that's fine. Pick one you want to go to. Iowa Plains I wouldn't mind playing on. Because I'm doing the Red Farm on Back County Road, which I like. And I also like Iowa Plain View, but... I don't want too many series going on right now, so yeah, if you'd want to go to something like that, I'd be fine. That's a big map. The new uh, Canadian map was it South? Uh, I forget what it's called. Edgewater, Edgewater. If that map was that, that'd be a good map too. Uh, Iowa Plains Farms. Yes, it is. Uh, it is in the mod hub. So we're gonna scoot down here and Man, that thing takes a while to fold. I didn't want to hit my trees here, but we're gonna have to let her back down. You probably run about six combines, four if you exclude the ones I don't run. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, Mr. Simulation. Uh, I, c I can't tell you. It's feels big. I, I assume it's pretty good size. I, I think there's plenty of room for two people on a multiplayer. Must be a little tacky right here beside the woods. Pulling a little bit on her. This is probably the most I've played uh, farm sim all week. Been busy chopping, put in pretty much 12 hour days chopping. Do you guys like all the shaking effects like the exhaust and the brake pedals and the What's everybody think of that kind of stuff? 
Lining up the left side. Gosh, I'm all over the place. I need GPS. Lining up the left side panel is easy, but the right side panel is not. The got strip into three parts in the middle part is a different spot on the texture file. Without actually opening it up, Jake, I, it's hard to tell me, you know, it's hard for me to know exactly what's going on. Wish I would add GPS to uh, maybe this gameplay. Do you guys play with GPS or not? I feel like I haven't really used any script mods, and Mr. Simulation can tell you that because when he taught me how to use course play the other day, which is pretty slick. But I just have yet to really dive into them. Uh, the Canadian map is probably not on the... It's called Edgewater, I think. But it would not be on the mod hub, I don't believe. But the one that was out, I know he's redoing it. The one that was out, uh... What do I want to say here? A lot of the buildings didn't have any animations or work or something. You basically had to clear them off and build your own. If it was that way on 19 or 17, more simple. Always GPS, Mr. Simulation. Yeah, I, or Simulation Station. I need to, I know I was using uh, Vehicle Control add-on, VCA, when I was playing back with uh, my buddy Kyle, who we used to stream together, and he streamed. He taught me how to use VCA, and it was, it was handy. I mean, you, I could just click a button and go, but I just yet to put GPS in and use it. Which is pretty stubborn because it's probably pretty easy to use. Um, I can't tell you off the top of my head. I know he's been Tyson Denise's Discord, but. Farmerville is also a, eh, that's not an in-game mod hub, but Farmerville is a good map. Shop around, just open them up single player and see which ones you like. I'm pretty much down to play on any map. Big or small, I can pretty much adapt to it. This tractor really just doing a nice job here pulling this 28 applicator. I should have asked how many people uh, apply 28 like this in real life. This is how we do it. Pull an applicator right behind our tractor. I know some people use uh, self-propelled sprayers to do it. I need to, uh, I need to make like an intro for my videos, and I also need to somehow figure out how to make an intro for my, uh, streams, I, now that I've kind of messed around with hit films and stuff like that. Uh, Mr., or Simulation Station, what do you use to edit your videos? What, what kind of software do you use? Uh, Jake, you talking about Kelly Roberts? I, I don't know. I think that's just an L. I'm not sure what model he has. I don't want to say because I don't know. But. So do you edit my videos? I use the uh, hip films. I seem to like it. I mean, I only fooled around with it to make one video so far, and I feel like the first video I made, I've already learned some different things, how to add things. 
South Sask, there it is, right there. South Sask modding and mapping is who made Edgewater. I know Jake, he's got a few combines. Because he, he was talking to me, he wants to maybe make the R f like 52, 62, 72 series, maybe, I think. But he wants needs the exhaust changed. And he asked me about changing it in Blender, which shouldn't be an issue at all. I can do that pretty easy. So I'm guessing maybe he's going to do something like that, too. I'm not sure. I know he does some pretty brilliant work too. I'm not sure why he's making it for 19, but I use OBS. You use help films, okay? The thing I need to figure out how to do is, uh, and I kind of watched a couple videos, but I didn't watch it and try to do it at the same time. Is how to load my logo, or emblem, or logo, whatever you want to call it, into the video. I think you got to make like a composite shot and then add it in but I tell you what would really make this look a lot better if where the calders were or the if they would put some animation down where the culver calders were wouldn't that make it look look nicer this mod this just seems too plain Jane we need some dirt churning or something So yeah, simulation station. That's I just started using. That's what I use. Hit films. I didn't realize how long it would take to. Uh, uh, what do I want to say? Upload a video. Did it seem like my quality was good? I, I am not. Sh you know, just learning, trying to learn things. So. You you guys seem to have done it a lot more than I have. I'm just trying to piece things together. Use DaVinci Resolve. Is that a free device or free uh, software? Hit films didn't seem too bad, to be honest. To figuring it out, it seemed like I figured it out pretty easy. I wonder if we're to a point we could just hire somebody to do this, so we can go do something else. What else do we need to be doing? Is everybody okay with me to just continue? I'm not sure what people like to watch. I, I can just sit here and talk to people, but me just going back and forth is this fascinating to people? There is a free version. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe Hip Films even has a more upgraded version. I just kind of used the free one. Actually, the Farm Sim guys, the guy. He recommended me use the hip films. Turn my voice, you mean my actual voice down? See, I turned it up a little bit, or I turned my gain up a little bit for um, doing live streams. But yeah, maybe I need to turn it down a little bit more. What is a simulation station like? What's a good person to watch or to learn some more tricks on hit films? Just kind of curious. I'm always I'm always wanting to learn things. You know, modding. Obviously, I've done all kind. You know, maps to tractors to trucks, combines, planners, rippers, tillage equipment. I mean. So, I mean, I've kind of went full spectrum on it. And then now I'm trying to learn how to edit videos. Even figured some of Blender. I mean, I can get around in Blender. Can I fully model something? If I had time, I probably could. It's all a matter of time. And I need to get... If I want to do more stuff, I should get a better setup than my... TV I set my living room very lazily and do all this stuff on I should get a actual desk and a 
be normal. Like the normal. Do you plan to release? Um, yeah, Corey, I, I do. I would like to... So, we'll just hire a guy here. As long as someone else can do it. Yeah. For now. Here's things that... Reasons I don't really want to use this tractor. Terrible motor. One decal. Uh, if anybody's noticed with this tractor, there's a plate here that goes into the motor. Not realistic. The panels don't go like this. You know, from transition from the hood to the dash. Things I do like, this does have a side console. Uh, even though it might be too far forward and might be wrong. Uh, the fuel tank would probably be like that, I'm guessing. The problem with it is I don't have anything to really model off of the 7000 open cab, but... Uh, also the seating. I don't know why I didn't think about taking the seat off this to put on the... So what I did was I took the new 7000 and... We can't multiplayer on the Canadian map? Kyle and I did. Anyhow, uh... So I need fenders. I looked at these... No. I think I looked at the fenders off the... If I still have this tractor. So I was trying to make it... No, I don't have it in here anymore. Yeah, I took it out. I had the front wheel assist 7000 that I was trying to take them off of. And it was kind of all messy. Ah, it might be this one. But I do need this seat... But like I said, I want to try to make it so that you have all the um, size options, like the one I just released, and not have to redo everything. Yeah, Levi, this is the this is the D19. Yeah, you're seeing this tractor, which is needs very much love. It needs a uh, how is they done already? It needs a lot of work. I've actually keep opening it up like I'm going to work on it, and then I don't. That's what it's going to need. It's pretty much... You have it, Levi? I actually... Uh, I, yeah, it was kind of a hard conversion, I do believe. Uh, I could send it to you. You can work on it. I thought you were working on one already. Weren't you working on the... Uh, what were you working on? 190? But yeah, that would be... You know, I want to make it so it... Got this motor in it. Um... So you can change all of these sizes. So, you know, you can have different options. I got I got to get the hoods figured out so they mesh together nicely and not just look bad. So, I need to get that figured out. Oh, yeah, I added a transmission to theirs as well. That's this tractor. Yeah, I got it. It has a transmission in it now. It needs the, the rims needs different rims and needs dirt added because I planted and then it never had any dirt on it. Looks like them fenders need UDIM too. They must have did that but they didn't do the fenders. No lights. Needs lights. It does have a lot of little detail in it. Which is probably just a texture maybe? I'm not sure. Been working on the sound guard John Deere. Oh, that's cool. I thought I opened them up once and then I pretty much closed them right back up. I would have worked on them. It's just, I think it was when I was early stages of this. It actually takes a while to run this thing. Yeah, 
the O in there. Uh, they have made it all one model, like the 185, the 190s, 200. Or no, what is it? Yeah, 180, 185. But yeah, I know they're not all exactly the same. They look different. Actually, I think the 185 isn't even supposed to be that big and tall, I don't think. Working on the sound guards. I do know, maybe it was Chase, the guy's name was Chase Harder or somebody. Somebody wanted me to work on them, and I was, like I said, kind of early stage of working on this tractor. And I didn't get working on them, but I think they were actually wanting like the 55 series or 50 series. Surprised Tired Iron didn't do that. Just convert them and be done with it, really. Yeah, Chase, yeah. He did ask me to. But now you're the Alice guy. You can't do any other money. <laughs> yeah, I guess simulation station. Uh, I have. I guess I've released. Actually, what's funny is there's an 8630 Ford on my itch.io page. And I've only had it maybe released... Oh, I don't know. Way less than the 8,000 series. Months less. And I think more people have downloaded the 8630 than the Alice Chalmers tractor. Which kind of blows my mind. But I like working on the orange tractors. I really want to get the 6080 going. I want to get the 6080 going without a cab on it as well. That's what I drove growing up was a two-wheel drive 6080 without a cab. They're hard to come by. I've looked to try to find one now in my life. 6080. My gosh, it's hard to come by. The fuel tank is in the... is on the hood. Guy, yeah, gonna keep going. Where's it at? You're, oh, you're saying this one's got it? So what are you trying to say, Owen? The fuel tank is on the hood and the weights are under the hood. So 185 is different. Is the fuel tank... This might actually have two fuel tanks. Yeah, see that? Oh no, this is probably the radiator, isn't it? That's probably the radiator. Yeah, I think Kelly, yeah, I think Kelly's pretty detailed on his stuff. All right, let's hop back in this tractor. I need to go do something very quick. Don't go nowhere. Hopefully I can get back before I get to the end of the field. Yeah, Kelly, I think he's going to do a nice job with things. Yeah, send me some pictures. Not saying I'm going to make them any different, but uh, if it's small things that I could get done fairly easy. I don't know what that tractor all entails. I've really not done anything besides drop a transmission in it. But I always like seeing pictures. If anybody's got pictures and they want to send them uh, old old. Old pictures, new pictures of stuff. Yeah, I'm more than willing to look at them. I think, yeah, I think Jake, he's releasing them. I think he's releasing them on 19. Like I said, I'm not really sure. But I think that's how I read what he was saying to me, was he was going to release them on 19, and then maybe send them to me to do what I did to the uh, N-Series, which, looking back at the N-Series, I wish I could do things differently. Hopefully he puts gauges in it. So, uh, that's one thing I wish I would have, well, going back now, I wish I could put back in the N-Series. 
Hey James, how are you? Glad to see you. I got a WD-45 too, but it's in the shop at a different farm. Yeah, I always sh should give some love to the WD we have. It, I think it doesn't even have a transmission either. It always wants to break as soon as I let off the throttle, and I should do a few things to it. Pep it up a little bit, if you would. actually taking a while to, like I said I think I said that earlier but I think it take I guess we're going kind of slow too aren't we get across this field yeah I need to get them windows added back in does most everybody I know most of you I think do play on PC but are most of you using this 7000 on PC? Or are there a few of us that, or a few of you there that play on console yet? Oh, no problem, Levi. Uh, not a big deal. We're just continuing on with a little bit of fertilization here. We're just going to go ahead and snag ourselves some uh, good fertilizer on this field of corn we need those high yields I am running the N series on Mercer for the 80 series and thinking about having the R's to go with them the 9100 for the one in the front when you say Mercer you talking about 19 Jake are you still playing on 19 yeah I'm, I'm at I'm curious too, Levi, because that was my favorite map. Um, I'm Owen, whatever. Hey, hey, I'm up for all the pictures. You know, PC, console, whatever. Yeah, okay, you're still playing 19 then, Jake. Uh, Mercer County. Good map. Maybe I should figure out how to get it to come back to... 22. That's why I like this map. This is not technically Mercer County, but kind of still Mercer County in real life. Yeah, simulation station. I kind of wondered. Uh, no pressure. I wasn't. You don't have to put it in your series, but it would. You kind of got a lot of old stuff, but you really don't have anything orange, so you're more green and red. I've been seeing some content guys use it. Uh, Mighty Mike, I know he kind of used it. I thought I seen somebody else using it. But, uh... It's a good looking tractor. It works real nice. Hopefully everybody's enjoying it. It's definitely a lot more... What do I want to say? Accessorize? Compared to 19? Um, yeah, Levi, I mean, I'm not running anything huge, and I'm down here in these fields, you can see what I own. I mean, there there's plenty of smaller fields, you know, if you want to get in this area, you know, there's some smaller fields, and even up here, I mean, there are a few bigger fields, you know, like 108 here is big, but, I mean, there are plenty of small farms. I like Instagram. Oh, and I don't have Instagram. Okay, yeah. I uh, Discord is great. Or I have a Facebook community page. I also have a, a personal page. I don't really know much about it. I'm not a big Facebook person. I'd almost rather all do everything on Discord over Facebook Messenger and everything. I'd rather just be on Discord. So, one or the other. Yeah, simulation station. I didn't know if you uh, messed with it or not. I guess I didn't know how many people have played and messed with it, but I appreciate that. Yeah, we spent some time, definitely a long time, trying to get it. I wouldn't mind changing still some more things to it, but overall, I like the you know like light options. I know some people don't like all the stadium lights and stuff like that, but.
What are you talking about on Midwest, Levi? You can build your own farm. I mean, I built my own farm. I moved some stuff in GE, but I mean, I pretty much placed everything myself. Yeah, it's a great tractor. I have options because... Thanks. Hi, I'm not a girl. I'm a boy and my name is... Marion? Murray? Let's see. Marion? <laughs> nice to have you, Marion. If, that's how, if I'm saying your name right. Not trying to mess it up. Oh, you're saying being able to... See, I need to... I need to mess with this map. I want to just redo it, because you guys have probably... I think I've showed this off before, but... I've added where you can paint more... You know, you can paint all these things. I've added that all in, because I think... On the one you can download, it only has these two, four, six. But I added, I think there's like... 13. 18 maybe different textures or 13 I can't remember and then uh, but I've been thinking about how to let's just scroll around like I've been thinking about how to make chain alter this map a bunch and uh, maybe put more town stuff like in here and that grass area and then maybe just delete all these old, I hate these or maybe even retexture these houses somehow. But I thought about trying to make it and then try to make all the buildings sellable and placeables. Which would take me a while to figure out. But like yeah, like here me, if I were going to do this, I would tear these. Which I could have done that. I don't know why I didn't do that. But I would have tore all these down and put a grain bin here. And uh... You know, there's a lot of things I would have done. You know, I built this. Like, I put the hog building in, and I put all these trees in. Like, I made this my own thing. And, like, even these trees back here, this wasn't like that. You can see where I came in here with the trees, and I added this, like, little woods or whatever you want to call it. But, like, this has got a really nice shed here. Really, This is a really nice shed. But the house is fine. But I wouldn't... Yeah, I almost want to make everything a placeable or delete everything and make everything new and placeable. And over here is actually a cow yard I was trying to make. Marion, if you don't get it. I want to be able to demolish the buildings like on any other map, basically. Yeah. When you add the ground textures, does it require a new game save? No, it takes simulation. It, it, it took a little figuring out. Um... Uh, it doesn't take a new save. You're saying if I would release this map, yeah, I would definitely probably take a new save. But I was trying to make a new cow yard for here. I'll see if I can get rid of this. Yeah, I was trying to make it a placeable cow yard here, and I kind of added it on in GE. So yeah, this isn't base game map or nothing, but... Uh, I never got a place right, and then I was trying to make other things and whatnot, but. Is there a, do I have a semi-truck? Uh, yeah, I have a semi-truck. It's hooked to my feed, well, it's hooked to the feed trailer up at the co-op. So yeah, I kind of. I wouldn't mind tearing this map apart and kind of rebuilding it and revamping it, maybe making... I mean, I like the square fields, because that's how this area really is in real life. So I wouldn't necessarily want to muck up the square fields and stuff like that, but... I wish the trees wouldn't flicker. I don't know really how to solve that issue at all. If I had the new paint, we're going to, to my SIG game. Would it work without starting over? It would. Uh, yeah, you're you got a lot going on. Um, it would. 
not require you to do a new save. I've done all this stuff by just editing this map and not making a new save. The, do you have a Discord s simulation station? I'm just going to call you station. But, uh... I could, uh... Show you how to do it. it. It takes a little bit because you have to go back and forth. But I guess I could kind of just send you the lines and you could add them in. Because I've already done all the hard work. You have to rename things and make sure they're named exactly the same. And Actually, I probably could send you that XML and you could just replace your XML with mine. And it would work for you. You wouldn't need a new save. What I pretty much did was watch the... Oh, I forget his name. I watched the video on how to do it, add all the things. I started wanting to tweak the maps. I seen county back county road had them and I was like how do I get all of these textures because I hate when you alter a driveway and then you can't paint the driveway down again yeah I'm not yeah station I would be more than willing to help you uh, the D19 it James it does have a uh, Loader option. I don't have the option on mine that I have, but it has a uh, front weight option and it also has a yeah, rear twins. Oh, I don't see no twins, but it also has this, but it doesn't really match. I guess you could make it match, it wouldn't take much. That's just an in game. Maybe the Stoles loader or something like that. Yeah, Farmer Bob, that's who I watched. He's got a video. Somebody sent me it. I could send you the link if I can find it again. I'll send you, um, as long as you're on Discord. That's the easiest place for me to send stuff. Or I should say, that's where I hang out the most. Yeah, look up Farmer Bob. He's got something like adding something to a starter farm. And it'll take a little bit to get through the video. But once you get to a certain spot, he shows you how to add all the paintable textures and all the tree trees and stuff like that. But I thought you could add all, like a bunch of them, but you only add what is in your combined layers already in your maps XML. So you're kind of limited, but I mean, you've seen all the ones I have, so... That's who I watched to figure out how as well. He does a ton of great math. He, d he actually does a ton of great all around stuff. I kind of questioned him about making a map. And, and you would love this too. I, I would love to figure out how to add calves to this map. And I had mentioned something to him in one of his couple videos ago. I don't know which one it was. But about if he would do a video how to add calves to a map. Because, oh man, if I could get calves on this map, I would... I would never leave. That's what I'm missing big time. Is I got the cows, but I need the calves. And shame on giants. Why didn't they implement that? I mean, you implemented all this other stuff. You already got animals in implemented. Just add little implements and little animals. John Deere, did you? Uh. I don't know, is Levi still in here? He could link my Discord. I don't have my own, and I've been thinking if I should set up my own. I'm actually in it with another buddy, and it, it was his that he started, but. Yeah, wouldn't the calves be cool? Calves are technically in the game, they just don't look like. Uh, you're correct, Derry Deer, I guess you're right. 
But I'm saying, why didn't they have the look of a baby calf? You, I mean, you're right. They have calves, heifers, and cows. But why didn't they implement baby calf uh, to the site? I mean, you got you got crops here that change state, you know, that grow. And it couldn't at midnight, couldn't the animals grow? I mean, that would just be next level. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, they done some. I mean, I don't remember what she said. Maybe it's 17. Maybe it was 15. I mean, when they first started with the dairy stuff and they had the automatic lilies and they sat out in the field and the milk truck would come, which I think was absolutely neat as heck with the milk truck would come to your barn and pick up your milk. Like, that would be cool, so cool. But, uh, I mean, we've had cows for so long over any other animals. I mean, why couldn't we get baby calves? Uh, I mean, that, you know, look like baby calves. It's definitely doable. Even if I just had it where it was a calf barn and, you know, they're only looking like calves when they're in that building. Fine, that's something. That's somewhere to start. Uh, hopefully not the next game. Hopefully there's a... I ain't going to say it's going to be an up... Or a patch or whatever you want to call it, but... Hopefully there's maybe a DLC. Maybe an animal DLC. You know, baby pigs too, maybe. Uh, I probably could live without the baby pigs if it meant having baby calves or calves. I know some people say baby calves isn't correct, but you don't say baby humans. You just say baby. But anyhow, yeah, if they could just make them look like calves, that'd be sweet. I feel like we've been putting 28 on for like an hour. Yeah, I'm hoping, hopefully not the next game. Hopefully this game, or hopefully I figure out how to. I looked at Hoff Bergman's stuff, and basically it's like, I don't want to say. You basically got to take everything, like an animation, you got to take its skin and everything, and you got to address it. I'm not saying I couldn't muddle my way through it, but it, it would have took a lot, and I didn't know exactly what I all needed. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, Owen, uh, I'm not, I didn't follow much Lancey Boy stuff. Mostly Tyson stuff, like Mercer County and Midwest, something like that. So what's going on, going to be up next? New from you updating existing months release new ones. Uh did you see the sixty eighty dairy deer or not? Uh I wanna say that's something I'm probably gonna work on. I need to I just told somebody today I need to get back to doing mod working on modding stuff. Um the animal pens probably gonna be, which I know you've probably seen them as I've showed them before. I, I I'm not sure what I want to do with the animal pens. If I wanna make it if I want to just overhaul this map or if I want to make it so your existing map you can add to. I think adding two would be sweet because then people like Simulation Station wouldn't have to get a new save. You could just continue on. That's what I kind of wanted to have so anybody could do it to their farm. Really make this map maybe come alive. Right now this is pretty much just a grain map. I mean you can build your own dairy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so yeah, I did take like, uh, Iowa Plains, which is just a, it's just that barn right over there, and they added a pasture around it, so, I don't know if you've seen on my Facebook, I did have a picture of a cow yard I was working on, probably could get back to hammering on that, I'd say once harvest is over, we're getting back to being into a crazy time of year, haul manure, harvest, stuff like that, so it's gonna get, less and less time to do things 
But like it's winter, I definitely would like to hammer on this map maybe a lot, or maybe even, you know, a better map, trying to make it more advanced with the livestock stuff. Yeah, this is supposed to be an injector. Yeah, he's, the 28 goes down the tubes and into the rows of corn. That's how it's supposed to work. Side, we call it side dressing corn. I don't know what everybody else calls it. So there, there, yeah, that's what I'd like to work on. Something like that. Maybe some bits and pieces of mods here and there. 60, 80. I definitely want to hammer on that mod for sure. Just because that was what I grew up with was the 60, 80. And this 60, 80 and a 70, 40. This is the 70-60. I don't know why I picked the 70-60 over the 70-40, but I did. Maybe even i seen uh, old iron release like the 210 and stuff. So maybe even just fixing them up enough they work and then, you know, maybe everything's not perfect and ideal, but if everything functions great and looks fine. Because I know a lot of these orange fans, they're, you know, they want they want more tractors to play with. There's plenty of John Deere's out there. There's plenty of case tractors. There's just not a lot of orange ones. So even updating this tractor, you know, let releasing all the options that are done to this one. So probably some of that stuff. I know everybody asks me all the time. Yeah, probably the 210, 220 are they, they pretty much the same tractor, just different decals. I mean, if I made the 210 or, fix, or functioning and slapped the 220 decal on there, they're they're the same tractor pretty much, correct? Uh, I know another thing, Derry Deer, the J and M hopper wagons that I use on this map and most of my saves, just because they're little. I think I have them on. The, I do have them on the red farm, but uh. I know I talked to, who made those, Tired Iron? Yeah, I think Tired Iron made them. These wagons, everybody always asks me about them. And uh, he told me I could release them as long as I, he wants them to be more Kill Brother colors, which my hopper wagons in real life are more orange. But I thought about making them all color selectable, like you could get a blue wagon or a green wagon. Maybe add like Parker decals to them, a bunch of older decals to them. The cab looks good. How's the open station going? Uh, I haven't done too much with the open station, Levi. How'd you edit your video? Oh, I used uh, Hip Films. That's how I edited my video. And then a buddy of mine, Kyle. Uh, I always forget how to say the last one. Nast name, but I used to live stream with him. Well, he's live streamed, then I would just play with him. He kind of showed me how to use it. Did you just reskin the Kill Brothers? So they are kind of the reskin of the Kill Brothers, but they're not the reskin of 22 Kill Brothers. They're the reskin of 19 Kill Brother. They were actually from 19. Someone, Blake Champ. Chamness, or however you say his last name, he sent them to me. He had them. As if you look at them, they actually have J and M decals on them. See that? They don't have the Kill Brother decals on them. Which this is my exact wagon in real life, except for mine are like orange, and they have a metal running gear, not this wood. This is actually no wait, mine are wood. Mine are wood. Yeah. But yeah, he sent it to me, so I've been playing with them. And not that I don't like the Kill Brothers. The Kill Brothers are just fine. Yeah, I don't have the Kill Brothers in here. But, uh... Yeah, all he really did, I guess, was take them little decals and... Scaled them down. Hey, thanks, Levi. Thanks for getting that done for me. So yeah, I would like to 
But what I need is to fiddle with the wagon. I need to get the latest version of the Kill Brothers wagon because I said those are from 19. They will break. I think JCL or somebody made the 22 Kill Brother wagons so that you can hook 400 of them up and get hit by a train and they won't break. If I remember right. Uh, Toby, how are you? I have not seen you in the longest of times, buddy. How are you? Uh, Gleaners, yeah, I think you're going to be seeing the Gleaners trickle in. Like I said, uh, I know Kelly Roberts is working on them, and I th I don't know why, but I think he's working on them for 19, but he has, you know, we've been talking, and I think he wants me pretty much to hammer on them for 22, so I know him and Blake, they kind of work together, or have worked together, do work together, and uh, so them guys kind of like some of the things that I've done. And uh, Brant or James Brant, he's definitely made this tractor beautiful. I thought he said he redid some of the hydraulic outlets, but I can't tell. Uh, James Brant is brilliant. He can do a lot of stuff too. Uh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one to put in there, Levi. Thank you. Yeah, I think, yeah. So he released it today. Oh, I thought he was going to release it tomorrow. I better look. Maybe he gave it to me already. Well, I'll look later, I guess. But so yeah, I think what he wants me to do is texture it like I did the cleaner uh, N series. You know, with the galvanized look. Which is a, you know, a pretty big UDIM project, but hopefully I can concentrate enough to get it there. I'm good. First Saturday off all summer. Finally done with the irrigation, so a few weekends off till we start harvesting pinto beans and corn. Very cool, Toby. Uh, we got done uh, helping. I always help my wife. She milks for some guys and milks cows and... Uh, we were chopping for them this weekend, and or this week, I should say. So we got done with them last night. Uh, so I'm all caught up just working on my combine, getting everything ready for harvest here. So and seen someone's working on a gleaner earlier in those. He did the DA, uh, which is coming soon. Oh, we're out of fertilizer. I'm like using them in 19. Gave me a good Alice Chalmers farm. Yeah, I don't know if you could reverse this tractor back to 19. I don't know what it would take. Yeah, no problem, Derry. Uh, I thought I talked to him earlier and he said something about tomorrow, but. Toby, you, you been playing or you see this tractor come out or not? So I have the super. Uh, maybe I have a super series in here. Where's where it could be gleaner? Yeah, I have the super. If you just what you mean, the super series. But I had said something, or I showed it maybe somewhere, and the guy who made it kind of thought maybe got butthurt, kind of said something to me about not releasing it because he was gonna fix it and release it. And I haven't seen anything about it, but I haven't also messed with it. Uh, it functions. It's not perfect but uh there's some nice big old tires on it but it, it, it works fine i used it actually on this map before not on this say oh, on this live stream but yeah yeah i'm not in no position to try to reverse convert anything So I think we'll grab just a little bit of more fertilize to finish up that field there. Much not been keeping up on all my mods, so yeah, I have them. 
Yeah, I gotta keep the mods folder plenty refreshed. Hopefully you've seen this tractor, uh, Toby. Uh, there's a couple other orange ones over there. I know uh, some people have been working on the D17. Scooter has. I haven't seen Scooter today. He hasn't been on. I haven't been able to get on with him this week at all. I've been kind of busy doing his own thing, I think. Iconic look of the S since Yeah, I well, Levi, I think to create like a community page. I'm not really exactly sure. I have mine set up correctly. Like uh Dairy Deer, Skywalker Farm, he's got one set up. I'm not sure that I have mine set up correctly like he does. I don't really know what I'm, I don't like Facebook. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'd rather almost just make a Discord. Yeah, so I think uh, Kelly Roberts, Toby, is actually... He took the Gleaners in 19 and he definitely maybe upgraded them from what I had seen and heard from him. And then I, you know, I think he wants to pass them on or... I'm not sure if he's going to convert them, but I thought he was wanting me to maybe convert them. I know he's wanting me to do a little bit of blender work on one or a couple of them. So hopefully, yeah, they start to trickle in. I did have maybe an R65, which I've never even heard of an R65. It's already 62, 72 and whatnot, but I tried converting it, but it had so many bad things in it that I just kind of left it alone. Yeah, UDIM overall is exactly what they all need for sure. If I could do it again, I'd have a Discord server before I went to Facebook. Both are nice, but Discord is a lot better for most things. I definitely agree with you, Dairy Deer. I, I like the Discord server hands down over. And I like the HIO page. I like having my HIO page for mods and stuff. Uh, it works out pretty well. That is a slick setup right there. Uh, yep, I have them both, but I'm something about the deal. It's about the wheels that gave me. Oh, the wheels? Yeah, probably because you need these wheels on them. Oh, those rims and wheels. That's the big D21. Tobes, that's what you need right there. I think these are 34s, right? Hey, aren't these 34s? Yeah, these are 34s. I need to mess with the rest load a little bit, but... Yeah, there's a big hog right there. Ah, uh, I got you. Yeah, I think they sent me something that was like... R65 and 75. But... So I have all these silage bales and nothing to do with them, because... I can't just feed them, and I don't think I have all the ingredients to make TMR. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all these bales yet. I guess I have... I guess I could make TMR, right? You need hay. Straw. Ah, eh, we might do that in the next live stream. I might do that later. But for today, I believe... I should fix this thing. Just a few things now that I know more. Like up there where my decal is, it's white instead of... Galvanized. I should fix that. And I should fix, uh, put some gauges in here. Maybe even animate some things, because it's all broken loose to be animated. But this combine could use some, a little bit of a facelift. Someone put a nice fire extinguisher out there. I don't know if a lot of people know that or not, that I put that light for the... Unload auger, but I did. Would absolutely love to see the 7000 series come to console. Recently tried to swap over to PC, but mine is just not. Specs why I stuck on console for now. Would love to see it. What would you say you don't like? Tank options like the N6. 
Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Uh, that would be an easy fix, actually, Jake. That wouldn't be that hard. Uh, I thought about trying to somehow add wood panels to the top of it, but I didn't want it to look stupid or gaudy. Or... So I just kind of left it alone. But I think I'm done for today as far as finding things to do. I mean, there is more things to do, but I need to get going, so... Toby, it was good seeing you. The R, let me just read this quick. The 62s were all echo. Also, the 50, 60 was the last of the Deutz era. Yeah, I don't know much about the Deutz combines, but uh, the Gleaners are what I know more. You know, the regular old Gleaners. So, Toby, it was great seeing you again. It's been a while since we talked and chatted, but glad to see you. Dairy Deer, uh, Jake, everybody that's been in, Simulation Station, if you're still in here, it's good uh, having you, everybody aboard today. So thank you for watching, and hope, uh, hopefully you guys have seen my video. I'm going to try to get to uh, a point during the weeks that I get a video out. I don't know exactly what day it'll be. Maybe Fridays will be the video day, or maybe maybe more beginning of the week, but going to try to cut it up a little bit and get some different content out rather than just live streams so but thanks for supporting my channel and uh we'll see you guys all in the next one